breaking. GitHub Copilot just became sentient, almost, and your job might be next, or not. Who knows anymore? What's up, code slingers, keyboard warriors, and stack overflow survivors? Strap in, because we've got the announcement that's going to shake your caffeine-fueled, over-engineered world. GitHub just dropped an AI coding agent for Copilot, and it's kind of like giving your IDE a brain and a to-do list. Yep, Microsoft just went full agentic. And no, that's not a Marvel supervillain. It just means Copilot can now spin up its own development environment, start working on task, and basically do your job while you're still arguing about whether to use Tailwind or plain CSS. What even is agentic? Glad you asked, internet person. It means that instead of just whispering sweet TypeScript snippets into your ear, Copilot can now say, don't worry, I got this, and proceed to actually build features, fix bugs, and even clean up the garbage fire that is your legacy code. It's like having an intern that doesn't complain, or sleep, or ask how Git works every five minutes. Now before you yell free stuff and start uninstalling your local dev tools, hold up. While the software for Copilot is now open source, yes, really, the cloud compute costs still exist. You still gotta pay for it unless you're running it on your own potato-powered server. So, no, it's not suddenly free, but yeah, it's still a BFD. But why, Microsoft? Why now? Because the AI war is spicy, my friends. OpenAI, you know, the ChatGPT gang, just launched Codex, which is basically the same thing with a different sticker slapped on. Oh, and that whole exclusive Microsoft Azure OpenAI thing, gone. It's open season out here. So, Microsoft's flexing. They know developers are the main characters in this AI saga. And if you want to win the AI arms race, you better butter up the folks who actually write the code. And what better way to say, please love us, than open sourcing Copilot and giving it semi-autonomous powers. It's like they handed you a sports car and said, yeah, take it for a spin. It only crashes sometimes. Let's get into the nerdy stuff. This Copilot agent runs on something called the Model Context Protocol. Sounds fancy, right? Which gives it deep OS level control. It can do scary smart things like anticipate your coding needs before you even realize you forgot that semicolon. It's not just autocomplete on steroids. It's autocomplete that went to therapy, got its life together, and now runs the project. But wait, won't this break literally everything? Great question. Maybe. But Microsoft has receipts. They've actually been crushing it with open source dev tools. VS Code, TypeScript, WSL, all hits, no skips. So odds are, this won't immediately brick your repo. And by open sourcing Copilot, they're inviting every neckbeard with a GitHub account to contribute, debug, and yell at the AI when it messes up. Yay, community, the TLDR. This isn't just another flashy AI thing you'll forget about in two weeks. This is Microsoft betting the farm on devs like you. Yes, even you, the one still pushing to production on a Friday. It's about power to the people, open source style. Now you can literally fork Copilot and turn it into your own chaotic, code-spitting monster. Add plugins, break stuff, rewrite it to only use tabs, go wild. So, yeah, the future of coding is looking real agentic, whatever that means. And if you're not excited, at least pretend to be, because this thing might actually write better code than all of us combined. Anyway, that's the tea. What do you think? End of software engineering or just another overhyped AI tool that can't even center a div? Hit the comments, rage respectfully. And don't forget to sub this channel where we suffer through the updates so you don't have to.